It's been a year and a half since I started using the Xiaomi induction cooker or stove. I have already tried cooking the various suggested menu or cooking modes in the stove. So in this video, I am going to share with you my experience and how I tweak some of the cooking modes here. You may consider subscribing first before proceeding to the next chapters of this video and click that notification bell. For uniformity, I am only using one casserole in this cooking review. This is the Jiwoo cooking pot from a manufacturer under the Xiaomi's ecosystem. This really matches with the Xiaomi induction cooker due to its black and white color and also the shape and size of the pot fit exactly with the top of the stove. The diameter of the pot is 260 mm or millimeters with a height of 80 mm. It can cook up to 4 liters of soap. This weighs 1.7 kilograms. This is made of aluminum alloy with a non-stick pan while its bottom is induction ready. The cover is a glass lid. Back to the Xiaomi induction cooker, please check my previous video on this appliance if you haven't watched yet. This smart cooker has so far 11 official cooking modes. Official because these are tested and tasted by Xiaomi. On the stove, you can only display up to 8 cooking modes. However, you can use the other 3 from the Mi Home app. There's also custom mode where you can set your own cooking mode based on power or temperature. You can name and set the cooking duration. On the official mode, there's no way to find out what is the temperature setting of its menu. Only the power level is indicated on the app and on the OLED display of the cooker. By the way, Xiaomi has this disclaimer on its mode to remind users that the temperature setting is an ideal figure determined under experimental conditions. Actual cooking temperatures will vary depending on ambient conditions, ingredients, material of the pot, and other factors. Users are reminded to ensure temperature is suitable for the ingredients because different cooking media have different maximum cooking temperatures and that excessive high settings will lead to continuous increase in temperatures. So, without any further ado, let's start cooking! The cooking demonstrations here are not done by a professional chef or cook, but by a homemaker. Discretion is advised. First in our list is pan-fried bacon. Our aim here is a perfect fried bacon. One of the simplest cooking mode of this Xiaomi induction cooker or stove is the pan-fried uh, bacon. So, the instruction is uh, just preheat the uh, cooker, then without any oil, as in literally, lulutuin siya ng kanyang sariling mantika. So we we'll just put the uh, bacon on the non-stick pan, and still we're using this uh, Xiaomi um, cooking uh, pot or pan or casserole, whatever the name of this. Uh, kitchen uh, utensil then uh, we let the uh, fats of the uh, bacon to uh, to cook itself okay <laughs> so preheat na natin yung uh, cooker so kung makikita nyo the uh, power is uh, set at 80 you can view the progress of the cooking on the Mi Home app. We monitor natin yung cooking. Uh, we are down to the, we're actually counting down. Cooking actually is set by default at 15 minutes and afterwards the cooker automatically stops. So my bacon got burned. Um, I wasn't able to uh, flip it over on time so ganun na nangyari. <laughs> So we'll do it again, we'll check. So sandari lang actually na pagluto nito ng bacon. You don't have to cook it longer. Kung makikita nyo, nasa 80 yung power niya, so mahataas siya. This is the design of the manufacturer. They studied it kung paano lutoy ng bacon na hindi uh, na kailangan ng magpika. Just put the uh, bacon strips pagkatapos, just monitor it, flip it over on time, huwag matagal. 
para makakuha ng perfect na bacon yun flip it over ng maaga para hindi sunog so ito na yung finish uh, product natin yung left naman ay nakikita nyo may sunog siya there uh, I again I as I've said I wasn't able to uh, flip it over on time uh, on the right side uh, makita nyo tamang tama lang ang pagkaluto so you don't uh, overcook bacon actually my verdict is practice makes cooking perfect. It was my fault when the first batch of bacon strips got burned on the pan. Kaya sabi ng Xiaomi, wag pababayaan ang sinain. Breakfast is not complete without a fried sunny side up egg. I think the simplest to cook. Simply fry the egg until the white has completely solidified. One of the simplest uh, cooking mode on Xiaomi's uh, induction cooker or stove is cook, frying, frying egg. Okay, so we're going to fry eggs uh, to this morning, and I just use the uh, leftover oil from the bacon that we fried earlier. Ito naring mantika na to ang gagamitin natin. So there are two ways to cook or how to cook uh, egg here. The first is the uh, sunny side up. Yung pangalawa naman, I'll tell you later. Makikita niyo dito, the power is only at 20. So talagang ano siya? Uh, mababa lang ang power niya so in sunny side up kailangan masolidify yung white then let the yellow or the egg yolk stand for a while under this mode the power is set at low 20 but even after 15 minutes the white is yet to solidify it's already past 15 minutes and ang tagal na nag-solidify yung white. So ginawa ko na is I uh, changed the setting to pan-fried uh, bacon and set the temperature, the power at 35. Kasi kung i-retain natin yung egg setting, hanggang ngayon hindi pa maluluto yung egg natin. Yung sabi ko, the other way of cooking egg using the egg setting, egg, egg mode, ay pagka um, nag-solidify na yung white, all you have to do is flip it over para maging easy cooking style siya ng egg. So my verdict for this cooking mode is fail. The power is too low and aabutan ka ng 48 years to completely cook the egg. Frying fish on the Xiaomi induction cooker is also simple. Just heat enough amount of cooking oil, then put the fish in the pan. The power and temperature setting under this mode is just fit for the fish to be cooked, not over fried or under fried. The cooker is set at power level 90 and will be done after 30 minutes. You need to flip the fish on its other side to avoid overcooking one side. On the app, you can monitor that cooking is done. So it's already done. If you want deep frying, preheat the oil for about 8 minutes before adding fish. And my verdict is a perfect fried fish. So this time I'm going to have a deep frying based on the one of the cooking modes of uh, the Xiaomi induction cooker or stove. Under this mode, the cooker is using relatively high power to cook the food in oil within a short time. The objective is to let the surfaces of the food to turn golden brown in color or even slightly charred. I cooked three pieces of pork chop and done it in just about 30 minutes. I had to flip the meat on its other side since my oil is not really enough to submerge the entire piece. Our pork chops are now golden brown. I think they are already ready. Okay. 
so the food is now ready on the table. My verdict, I really like the way the cooker deep fries food, especially when I am cooking Lumpia Shanghai. It's crispy and not overcooked. So I'm giving this a positive rate. Ang cooking mode na ito tayo naman natin ngayon is yung stir fry. Heating is at high power in stir fry mode, which causes a rapid increase in temperature and cook ingredients in the shortest possible time. What we're going to cook now is um, stir fried beef with ampalaya. To prevent the cooker from heating dry, add oil first before turning on the induction cooker. As you can see, the power level is at the highest, 99, and the cooking time is one hour. Hence, you need to keep stirring the meat, otherwise this will be overcooked or burned. Unlike conventional stove, pwede iangat ng matagal ang pan from the induction cooker. The pan should always be in contact with the top plate to complete the induction process. When the meat is getting darker, it must have been cooked already. I removed the beef and set aside while ampalaya is being placed on the pan instead. I decided to reduce power from 99 to medium level 60, thinking the ampalaya would easily get burned. I still keep on stirring as I added spices and seasoning. Put the meat back to the pan and continue stirring for about 5 minutes until finish. The resulting dish is, is a nutritious stir-fried beef with ampalaya. I like the way it was fried as no meat or vegetable get charred in the process and nothing sticks on the pan. Verdict? It's yummy! I seldom cook steak in the house, so pasensya na if your expectation at the end is a not so good reality. And that sets the tone for this cooking mode. For the steak cooking mode, I chose a ribeye steak. I am only cooking two pieces for the purpose of this video. As suggested by Xiaomi, I marinated or seasoned first the steak. I also read that ribeye steak is best for pan searing. Searing is a technique used in grilling, roasting, etc. in which the surface of the food is cooked at high temperature until the meat becomes brown crust form. The steak setting on the Xiaomi induction cooker is at power level 60. As advised by experts, remove the extra moist from the steak using tissue paper. Put oil when the pan is already hot. From time to time, flip the steak on its other side and pour some oil on it. After a few minutes of cooking, the steak turned dark brown. So it's not only brown crust form, but dark brown or black. By the way, I just put garlic on the side of the steak while cooking to add aroma to the meat, but I failed to use butter. Anyway, the steak still tastes good. There's a tamium soap cooking mode on the Xiaomi induction cooker. However, honestly, I don't know about tamium soup. But since I don't know about that dish, so obviously I cannot cook it. So, as a replacement, lulutuin natin ngayon is a sort of sinigang. It's just a sort of because obviously kulang to ng uh, mga necessary ingredients niya like uh, radish, gabi, um, uh, okra, string beans, and of course some palok. But there's the uh, reliable sinigang mix. <laughs> okay, so let's start cooking. I only cook six pieces of sinigang cat pork, which are enough for the pot. On the up, uh, you can see the uh, uh, cooking uh, status. Um, as I shown you on the knob, the uh, power of this. Uh, Cooking mode is 80. You need to add spices early so that this will be absorbed by the meat and also potatoes for it to be cooked thoroughly. <laughs> I have to remove the green hot pepper or chili since it should be placed at the latter part of the cooking. The post yung cooker, so it means supposedly luto na. I'll check. Kung okay na ba siya. If you can see the status of our cooking, it says here cooking completed, but actually it's not yet because matigas pa yung karne natin. Maybe it's because this uh, cooking mode is designed for tamium kung soap, 
but I'm cooking uh, sinigang, pork sinigang, so hindi talaga siya tukma. But still, we can continue this uh, cooking. If you press this button, the cooker will restart back to the beginning. So nakita niyo bumalik siya, yung power niya bumalik ulit doon sa 80. In my own way of cooking sinigang, I only add a sinigang mix when the meat started to become tender. When the meat becomes tender, that's the time I will add eggplant. Then if it looks almost done already, I then add pepper and pichai. Immediately, I reduce the power level so that the vegetables won't be overcooked. Cooking has completed and food is ready to be served. As I have observed, the pork is more tender using the induction cooker than using my regular gas stove. Wala na pong uh, ibang maisip na appropriate for the simmer cooking mode kundi itong chicken pork adobo. The simmer mode uses medium power to cook the ingredients relatively slow so that the nutrients are fully released. Mm, yung adobo naman, uh, ginagawa natin is slow cooking para at least um, hindi madali ma, ano, masusunog yung meat. So, Kailangan soft, very tender yung meat pag magluto tayo ng adobo. So, kung makikita nyo, the simmer cooking mode is a medium heating and nasa 60 lang yung uh, power level niya. Under this mode, cooking times are relatively extended up to 2 hours. I add a little oil when the pot is already hot and the meat, including the marinade, then cover the pot the whole period. About 30 minutes, the cooker slowed down and lowered its power to level 30, then to 15 after several minutes, but I adjusted it to 20. Take note, the LED display is at two lights only. From time to time, I flip over the meat and stir gently the ingredients to avoid sticking to the pot. Few minutes before end time, I added salted beans to season the adobo. It's last minute for this uh, uh, setting. Um, abangan natin. I let the cooking lasted until 2 hours to test this mode. As I observe, marami pa siyang <laughs> sabaw. Supposedly, nag-dry up na to. But, yung karne niya is so soft. Tingnan niyo. Oh, it's very soft. Okay, nag-alarm na. So, nagpo-post na yung cooker. It means, tapos na. I think this mode is just perfect for adobo. This is the chicken. Talagang soft na soft. At, at saka, oh, tingnan mo. Nasi-separate nga yung bones niya from the meat. <laughs> Ganun siya ka, 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 ka tender. So we're going to cook uh, french fries now. And we are testing the potato cooking mode of the Xiaomi induction cooker. I put about 1 liter or 1 liter of uh, edible oil or cooking oil for this uh, 450 grams of uh, ready to cook uh, potatoes so it says here it's a premium french fries fried potatoes the instruction as per Xiaomi is to um, heat the oil for about six minutes and cook the fries in about 10 minutes but here the instruction is uh, preheat a generous amount of cooking oil in a frying pan of about uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit so it's uh, this is uh, the, the, the power level here is somewhat like medium high then add the french fries and deep fry for five to six minutes turning until light to golden brown so we're going to turn on the uh, cooker and look for the French fries. Ito na ang French fries. And let's turn on. Now let's check the level of the power. That's 90. Okay, so that's hot. That is not medium high. So it's 6 min minutes already. Lagay na, na natin yung potato, yung French fries sa uh, pot. Oh. 
Alebo už si nerátem? So nakalagay dito sa app um, Meron pa 16 minutes left Para kompleto siyang maluluto So tingnan natin Kung tama ba to <laughs> Nagu golden brown na yung uh, portion ng uh, fries But there are still white na pieces of uh, potato So hindi pa lahat nagbrown Tingnan natin, yung 16 minutes na na-eat na tira, kasiyang kasya na ba para makompleto ang pagluto nito. Or kung i-base natin sa time, we only have what, 2 minutes or 3 minutes. So it's exactly 10 minutes na ang pagluluto natin. Then it seems like it's done already kasi naka-brown na yan eh. So i-turn up na natin yung ano, uh, cooker. I think sakto lang yung pagluto. Hindi siya masyadong, hindi uh, siya sunog. Brown siya kunti. It's a golden brown. So, tama na to. So, I decided not to follow the app which says I still have 16 minutes more. I followed the instruction instead that deep frying should only last 10 minutes. And the result is a crunchy fries. Although there are few that are chewy, but for me, it's overall crunchy and it's better than the fries and burger chains that we used to eat. The hot pot cooking mode follows the traditional hot pot recipe of the Chinese people. For this cooking mode, we need a yin yang pot or a pot with a separator for the two kinds of simmering broth where various raw ingredients are to be cooked on the table. There's also a yin yang pot from Zhuo which matches the Xiaomi induction cooker. The Xiaomi induction cooker's design as a countertop kitchen appliance makes it versatile. As I've said in the beginning of this video that I am going to use this uh, pot for uniformity, then ito gagamitin natin for this uh, hot pot uh, session. And uh, to make it easier, um, I don't know the ingredients of hot pot, so um, I just went to the supermarket and looked for a ready-made or ready-to-cook hot pot set. So ito na, nakita ko. But this is a vegan <laughs> a vegetable uh, hot pot. Uh, you see here? Vegetarian hot pot. So ito lang yung laman ng ano, um, hot pot uh, set natin. Um, I really don't know ano mga pangalan nito. Basta ito siya. <laughs> okay. And these are vegetarian made of vegetables so may mga soya dito may mga ito tofu siya dito di ba okay then uh, we have two bags here for seasoning ito seasoning at saka ito yung spice niya spice chain spice um sabi dito sa instruction unnecessary unnecessarily open <laughs> ibig sabihin pwede natin ilagay dito ito diretso sa tubig na kahit hindi natin buksan okay and this is something it must be open because it made it may it's made of plastic then tingnan natin yung temperature yung power level niya it's 99 so it's the highest um we have to wait until the water on the pot will be boiled because that's the instruction and uh, sabi din ng Xiaomi kailangan nakaboil na yung uh, water para talagang maluluto yung ingredients otherwise baka masasiraan tayo ng stomach actually the default time is 2 hours so 2 hours tayo magluluto dito and actually yung, uh, itong 2 hours default lang ito siya so we may be able to finish uh, before 2 hours siguro may 1 hour lang or uh, several minutes 5 minutes lang <laughs> kumukulo na yung tubig so let's start Nahin natin yung spice. Lagay natin. Ano? Ah, tama. Chinese spice. Then next is the seasoning. Kailangan buksan natin. What is good with the induction cooker of Xiaomi is uh, it's a you know, pretty lagay siya sa countertop. So Practically, you can place this any surface. So, talagang uh, pizza for hot pot because hot pot, 
yung uh, pagkain sa niluluto on the top of the table while you are on the dining table ilagay mo yung uh, mismo yung stove then yung pot and you're going to eat while it's still hot kaya nga siguro tinatawag na hot pot okay at tinikman ko yung yung soap niya Chinese sarap <laughs> sarap isa ba siguro luto na to oh tingnan mo malaki na eh so tingnan natin kaya natin So, kung kain ako dito sa side, I put some table here. Meron na akong plate dito. Lagay lang ako na. Actually, nag-reduce na ang kanyang uh, temperature or power level. Nasa 80 na siya. Mula 90 kanina. So, naging uh, 80 na siya ngayon. So, ito na siya. Pag ganito na kalaki, it means it's already cooked. Kanina, nakita natin, maliit pa lang. So, hindi pa yung luto. Tulad nito. Hindi pa ito luto. So, tingnan mo, malaki na siya. So, ikumpara mo yung itong dalawa, malaki yung isa. So, it means yung malaki, luto na. Kainin natin. The power level is already at 80. Or 80 pa rin siya mula kanina. Mula nang nagbababa siya from 99. Then, ah, uh, It's already down to 131, meaning uh, we already consumed about 1.29 minutes of cooking at the same time eating. <laughs> Parang kumakain ka at the same time nagsasauna ka. Kasi naglagay ko ng electric fan sa harap. So yung steam niya kanina pupunta sa akin. So hinihingos mo yung uh, smell ng spices. So parang therapeutic siya. Ang, ang, ang sarap ng feeling okay sa susunod ulit or until the next time steam and boil mode involves boiling water on the pot and keep it in boiling state while cooking food on a steamer which will be placed on top of the pot on the up the steam and boil is uh, found below because I did not add this to the uh, to the cooker or to the induction cooker Di siya kasama sa top 8, okay? So, but you can start uh, cooking under this mode kahit wala siya sa top 8 by using the app. So, doon ka sa app mag-start. Nakikita nyo sa baba, meron niyang start now. You click that. Then, uh, you have to, uh, you have to uh, start the induction cooker on the device itself because... For for security reason and for protection, you cannot remotely start the induction cooker. So here, nakita niya yan. It says press to start. So if you press that, nakauna ang steam and boil. Cooking is set to last one hour as a default setting. But I don't have a steamer with a size like this. What I have are smaller steamers which could only fit on rice cookers. So I would rather steam on the rice cooker. I tried before steaming on the Xiaomi rice cooker and the food tastes good. Please check my video on this. I also skip heating milk using the cooker because for one, I don't have a special path for heating milk. Also, it's not our way of preparing milk. We just do it simply. Or I can use the Xiaomi instant hot water dispenser for milk. There's a button here for warm water which is best or suitable for milk. In the milk heating mode, the temperature is maintained below 85 degrees Celsius. This is not only preserves the nutrients of the milk but also prevents it from sticking to the pot. Under the cooking mode, the power is set at 50 for 10 minutes. And that completes our cooking sessions using the Xiaomi induction cooker. Please don't hesitate to express your thoughts in the comment section below. And please give me a favor. Subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. Dengan selamat, aku si Jun Teriman. Hi Tech, bye!